Good afternoon. Phil Lindemann with your news from Avalanche Physical Therapy on Crystal 93. 38-year-old Chris Staples of Summit is in jail today following a standoff in Dillon Valley yesterday. Staples allegedly picked the lock to his ex-wife's apartment and then barricaded inside, refusing to answer calls and commands from sheriff's deputies. He was alone. After six and a half hours, deputies entered the apartment with a robot, and Staples surrendered peacefully. He is charged with nine crimes, including stalking, harassment, obstruction, and felony theft. He was wanted on two related charges from the previous day, reported by his ex-wife. This week on the State of Summit. I will tell you that every time I have to drive through there right now, I cross my fingers, say a prayer, and hold my breath. That was County Commissioner Tamara Pogue with frayed nerves after driving under I-70 at exit 205, where Jersey barriers guard equipment, and there is no lane striping. This is what CDOT's been doing there from engineer Grant Anderson. It's going to widen the bridges to the inside to accommodate that third lane. So the bridge work that you're seeing now is the foundation work for the two bridges, the one over the blue and then the one over six and nine that we're trying to get done before 4th of July. And this is how it fits into the bigger picture for a third lane between Frisco and Silverthorne. Really, it's a safety project to add a third lane continuous up to the tunnel from East Frisco added truck parking at the eastbound scenic overlook. It's going to change the off-ramp at 205 to a single lane exit with a more appropriate decel lane. CDOT says that is the biggest local project in Summit for I-70 this summer. There's also all the work being done on Vail Pass. Road crews have lots of paving and pothole repair on the schedule on Highway 9 north and south and the Eisenhower Johnson tunnels. Tune in again next week for the State of Summit on Crystal 93. At the new roundabout on Highway 9 through Frisco, repairs are more complicated than fixing one lane of chewed up pavement. We're going to make them mill out about 1,200 tons, oh. both through lanes in both directions, just because we don't know what's wrong with that pavement in general. It seems like there's a mystery there. Engineers think the pavement was the victim of a bad batch using low quality blacktop from a temporary site when they ran out of higher quality material. CDOT was hoping to repair it by next week, but contractors are booked solid through fall. No timeline yet for repairs. We've been crunching the numbers, and no, you are not crazy. The Dirty W is blowing harder this spring. Up high at Loveland Pass, average gust so far this May is nearly 40 miles per hour. Two years ago, it was 34. Last year, it was 28 miles per hour. Down low at the crystallized weather station in Dillon, the W isn't quite as dramatic. Average gust since April is 14.2 miles per hour. That is windier than recent years but only by two to three miles per hour. In sports, the Rockies are playing the Giants right now, trailing five to one. And in local sports, brought to you by Red Mountain Autos at their new location in Breckenridge. Yesterday was opening day of the Vail Whitewater Race Series on the Gore Creek, where John Anacito and Cole Bangert won the overall rafting title. Jennifer Hodgkiss and Carrie Karks won the women's raft. Kelsey Molinaire and Joe Giglio won the kayak races. Kerry Karks and Jeremiah Williams won the sub races. That series continues next Tuesday, May 17th. Phil Lindemann with your news from Avalanche Physical Therapy on Crystal 93.